aka Mira Alexandra, and my little trusty noble steed, who won't stop kissing the lipstick off my face, Toki. Toki, look that way. That way. Good boy. Quick scenario. You know when you're in the shower, you're washing your face, you get a little bit of soap in your eyes, and it stings like you've never felt anything sting before in your life. You start crying, washing it out with water, and then within like 10 seconds, okay, crisis averted. I'm not gonna go blind. I'm good. Now, imagine being a bunny. Bunnies don't have tear ducts and they don't have showers to wash out the chemicals from their eyes. So what do they do? They go blind and sometimes they die. Why? Why? Why humanity? Why do we do these things? There is no point. But there's good news. All you have to do is go vegan and choose cruelty-free products. So as a vegan showgirl, I'm constantly cycling through my makeup like it's water. I work in a nice little unknown place that's centered around a castle in a town that you may or may not have heard of in Florida called Orlando. Yeah. So I do 30 minute parades in full sun, drenched in sweat. So I have my vegan showgirl picks for you which are number one, cruelty-free, number two, totally affordable, number three, awesome products. So here it goes. One of my first favorite vegan brands is Bare Minerals. So they make mineral-based makeup with SPF in it. Um, it's amazing how much some mineral-based makeup can do because first of all, it gives you a nice glow and it covers everything that you basically need covered. Now, the one thing about Bare Essentials is that their makeup brushes aren't vegan, so stay clear of those. My second favorite brand is Physician's Formula. So Physician's Formula makes these beautiful little designs that you don't want to mess up but you have to because it's going on your face. They make awesome makeup that you can find at Ulta and you can find it at Walmart and at Target and a few other places like that. So it's totally accessible, totally drugstore makeup, but it doesn't feel like drugstore makeup. So I like their bronzers. I use them all over my face. I'm wearing it all over my face right now because they give you a nice bronze and they also give you a glow without making you look dirty, which is so important. And a lot of drugstore makeups don't do that. I have a text, I'm popular. It's my mom. Along with their bronzers, I also use the Physician's Formula CC Cream. I love it because it is a foundation, a liquid foundation, that doesn't run off your face and make it look like you're melting like the Wicked Witch of the West. It has SPF 30, which is titanium and zinc oxide based. So I'm going to do a video later on about zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and SPF. So always go for those mineral based SPF brands. Another one of my all time favorite vegan brands is NYX. They are awesome. I discovered NYX while watching RuPaul's Drag Race. So they actually sponsored RuPaul's Drag Race. And if a product is good enough for drag queens, you better believe it's good enough for me. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. Um, it's, it's like half used. It's literally called Showgirl. It's my favorite color. I'm wearing it on right now on my lid. Their products are so potent. So every single eyeshadow is so blasted with color, so blasted with shimmer. It's fantastic. And also I use their eyeliners as well. and their eyeliners are fantastic. So this eyeliner comes in matte or it comes in vinyl. Every time I go to Ulta, they never have matte. This vinyl eyeliner, it is so hard to get it off of your eyes. That's the only downfall about it, but the good side about that means that you could go swimming with this because I have. But the best part is, is that it is cruelty free. So if you don't like peeling your eyeliner off, you should probably go for the matte version and hope and pray that your Ulta actually restocks. So everybody is obsessed with contouring at the moment. Thank you, Kardashians, for giving us unrealistic beauty standards. I got this fantastic contouring palette from NYX. Again, you can find NYX at um, Ulta, or I've seen it at Target before. Another great alternative to NYX is ELF. ELF is great if you are on a very, very tight budget. Everything from ELF ranges between one and three dollars. ELF is fantastic. It's completely budget friendly um, and of course cruelty free. So. I don't want to hear anyone saying that they can't afford cruelty-free products. Now on to the expensive cruelty-free products that I probably shouldn't be able to afford, but I force myself anyway. Makeup, food, makeup, food. Too Faced. Too Faced is one of my favorite brands ever. They make such good products. They are awesome and they have the cutest little themes for each one of their makeup palettes. So I have about 
three or four of their eyeshadow palettes, and you can see why. So this one looks like a chocolate bar. It literally smells like chocolate. You know, sometimes you're doing one of these, uh-uh, do one of these, you do one of these, do one of these, uh-uh. Oh, that tastes like chocolate. Urban Decay. Now the interesting thing about Urban Decay is that it's owned by L'Oreal. However, L'Oreal tests on animals, but Urban Decay doesn't. It's so weird how that works. I don't understand why L'Oreal just doesn't go completely cruelty-free. And finally, if you work in a theater or a dance company or a lovely little theme park centered around a castle in a little lovely unknown town called Orlando, Florida, then you might be lucky enough to have makeup provided for you by Ben Nye. Ben Nye makes theater makeup um, and they actually make really good products. So pretty much all of the colors that I use, all of my crazy colors are all Ben Nye. Um, they have like different shimmering kinds of colors and just, just really crazy colors. And the best part is, is that since it's built for theater, it lasts. I feel so lucky and so blessed that my lovely little unknown company chose Ben Nye because Ben Nye does not test on animals, which is a lifesaver. Another important thing that most people don't think about when it comes to cruelty-free products are your makeup brushes. So it's important to make sure you actually do some research on your makeup brushes before you're buying it. Because if you don't, you could end up brushing your makeup on your face using the butt hair of some boar somewhere in the world. That's weird. Why humanity? Why? Why do we do these things? The first brush brand that I use is Borghese and I got that from Costco. So they have a great line of synthetic brushes at Costco. The other brand that I use is Misami. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I looked it up on Amazon. Um, I did some research on the company and their brushes are also synthetic as well. There's also companies like Eco Tools that also do vegan brushes. So it's just a matter of looking up online and doing a bit of research. There's always a cruelty-free option. There's no excuse to be using brands that test on animals. If you can't afford expensive brands, there's plenty of drugstore brands for you to use. So no animals should be killed just to make you pretty, because the best kind of a showgirl is the kind showgirl. If you're wondering if a certain brand is cruelty-free or not, there's some great resources online, like PETA has a great list where you can either look up by an individual brand name, or you can scroll through and find all of the brands out there that do cosmetics and hair products and other types of beauty products that are cruelty-free. So, like I said, there's no excuse not to know. Along with checking online, another great way to tell if a product is cruelty-free is just by looking at the packaging. Most cruelty-free products and brands will advertise that they're cruelty-free with a little bunny symbol. Physicians Formula almost never advertises that they're cruelty-free, which is so confusing because this is supposed to be an all-natural brand, but they don't advertise that. So um, you have to go on their website to discover that they're cruelty-free. However, NYX will tell you. So right here you'll see cruelty-free. Always stay informed, always stay aware because your actions do affect others. And we don't want to hurt anyone else on this planet. Right, Toki Bear? That's right. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be going to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival and see what their vegan options are this year. Last year they had a lot. Haven't been hearing such good news about this year, so we'll see. So stay tuned. And remember, be kind and be cute. Showgirl kisses. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.